Good morning, friends. How are you doing this Thursday morning? Well, um, we're going to start off this morning just recapping the beginning of this story and where we currently are in um, our Peter is rescued story from the Bible. So um, the beginning of this story started off with King Herod and King Herod did not like the followers of Jesus. He did awful things to them because he hoped to stop people from believing in Jesus. King Herod planned to kill Peter the same way he had killed another follower of Jesus. It's heartbreaking to think about the followers of Jesus being hurt or killed just because they loved him. So does, do you think Jesus ever wants you to do awful things to people or treat them in a mean way? Do you think Jesus wants you to do that? No, absolutely not. King Herod did not understand that Jesus came to the earth out of love so that the sins of King Herod and other people could be forgiven. King Herod thought he could stop Jesus' followers, but he could not stop the power of God. So we are, um, so we recall, do you recall what happened, what King Herod did with Peter? Remember, he put him in prison, and then you remember what happened. Yes, yes, the angel came, and Peter's followers were busy praying, and they did not know about the angels coming. So here's that recap. So Peter had been arrested, and the believers met together to pray. They asked God to free Peter from prison. God had heard their prayers, and he sent an angel to free Peter from his chains. When Peter got out of the prison, he went straight to the prayer meeting. And Rhoda, she heard Peter's voice, but she thought, this is not true. Peter's in jail. He, this is not true. She didn't even let him in. And she ran to everyone else to tell everyone that God had answered their prayers. And they didn't believe her. They thought she was crazy. But Peter knocked so loudly that they finally let him in. So remember, God hears your prayers. And nothing is too hard for God. So when you pray, get ready for your answer to come. Get ready for your answer to come. It may almost seem too good to be true, but God will answer in his timing, in his timing. So you want to ask yourself, do you pray for things that are too good to be true? And do you expect God to answer your prayers? And think about how has God answered your prayers? How has God answered your prayers? So those are some things to think about today. So tomorrow we're going to just wrap up. I have some questions um, that I'm going to be asking you guys about um, the wrap up of Peter in prison. And then we will just wrap up our Friday with that. Um, the um, Bible story, and I will see you guys in a little bit for our phonics lesson. See you soon. Bye-bye.